What is going on guys? So in this video we're continuing our HDB Academy module uh, using the Metasploit framework. Um, so we're on the payloads section. Um, so there's a bit of bit of reading here that you can do. Uh, I'm not going to go over everything here. We're just going to jump right into uh, the exercise here. Um, so scroll all the way to the bottom and let's get started. So go ahead and spawn your target system. And then for me, I have a virtual machine uh, VPN into HTTP Academy. So whatever instance you're using, if you're using the one um, that HTTP Academy provides or your own VM, um, go ahead and launch the terminal. And so in the question here, it says ex exploit the Apache Druid service and find the flag.txt file. All right, so first things first, um, we're gonna launch Metasploit. So let's go MSF console. And we'll get the Metasploit flame framework loaded up here. All right. So one of the key things here, um, it gives us a specific service to exploit. So in order to search for an exploit, it's just going to be search. And then you can put the keyword in there. So I can just type in Druid, and it's going to search for Druid exploits. Uh, so as you can see, the first line item we get is uh, Apache Druid. So that's exactly what we're looking for. And then the rank is excellent. So this is, um, this is a really good uh, exploit to use. So um, in order to use it, you can do use zero, or you can copy the whole name and then uh, use that. But we're just going to use zero because it's faster. And then it selects this first exploit. All right, so now let's look at the options for the exploit. So we're just going to do show options. And then you can see here, there's a couple um, things that are required. So we have to put the local host and then the remote host. Um, everything else looks like it's filled in for us. Uh, so the, for the remote host, you're gonna get that from your target system. So in order to set that, you're gonna do set our hosts, and then you're gonna do 10.129.203.52. And then for the local host, so this is gonna be uh, the IP address of your machine. Um, and the interface that you're using. So for me, I'm on a VM, um, but I have a specific um, adapter um, in this VM that is VPNed into HTTP Academy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my local host to my Tunnel Zero adapter, because that's the adapter that, uh, that I'm VPNed into, or that I'm using to VPN into HTTP Academy. Um, and then you can see when I set it to that name of the interface, it shows the IP address there. So I got that set, so that was pretty much it. Um, you can do show options again, and it'll show what you have filled in. Um, so we got all that filled in, and uh, all the yeses are good. All right, so then in order to run the exploit, you just type in exploit. And then let that go, let it do its thing. It should take maybe, you know, 15 seconds, 20 seconds. All right, so it looks like we got a interpreter session opened. So it should drop us into that interpreter here. Boom, all right, so there we go, we are in. All right, so now once we're in, what do we do? Well, we're trying to find this flag file, right? So this is a Linux command line, kind of, sort of, right? So um, you can do ls, right, to look for all these files. Um, but we're looking for a flag file. So instead of like roaming through the whole directory, um, there's a couple of commands that we can use. So if you go back to um, the tutorial here, you can see that we have some file system commands here. So down here, we can actually search for files. So let's go ahead and use that. So we're gonna search, and then we'll search for flag.txt file. So looks like we have to be a little bit more specific. Um, so you can see it gave us a, a specific command to run. So what we're gonna do is we can do search dash F and then we'll do star, um, and then we can put the name of the file here. So we can put flag.txt, and that's gonna search specifically for any file named flag.txt. Now we could just put .txt to search for any text file, but in our case, we're looking for a specific file. So let's go ahead and put flag.txt in there, and then go ahead and let that run. And then it should take um, 15 seconds, I think, as well, uh, to search for it. 
So it's scanning the directories to look for anything labeled flag.txt. All right, so there we go. So now we can see that it's in the root directory. Um, so let's go ahead and navigate to root. So it'd be cd uh, forward slash root. And then now we're in the root directory. So you can do ls again if you want, and you can look for all the flags here or all the files here. Um, so you can see that here is the uh, flag file. Now in order to view the contents, if you look at the system commands again, um, it's going to be cat. So we'll go ahead and use that command. So cat and then flag.txt. Give that a second. Sometimes that takes a while, so usually it's pretty instant. Oh, looks like, uh, let's try that one more time. Yeah, usually it shouldn't be taking this long, but um, looks like it timed out on me. So let's, uh, let's see, our working directory. So yeah, sometimes this happens where your shell just kind of times out. So we'll just, um, we'll type in quit. That'll quit the interpreter. Um, so let's go back. Um, so let's run exploit one more time. Because when you type in quit, it'll go back, but it'll have everything filled in for you. So you can see that we have uh, the host still in there. And then of course, our uh, local host here as well. Okay, so interesting. So not sure why this is um, not sure why this is timing out on me. Uh, let's check the IP. Make sure I have that right. 10.129.252. Yep. And then tunnel zero. Uh, let me check my VPN connection because maybe that dropped. Ah, it did drop. So that's why. So as you're troubleshooting, uh, sometimes. Um, sometimes your VPN connection can drop. So that's that's what happened here. So um, it does say initialization sequence completed now. Um, so I think it just reconnected. So let's go ahead and try this again. Yep, there we go. Yeah, so that's why those commands were failing. Because when I did cat flag.txt, it should have should have ran that pretty quick. Uh, but now I know why it was taking forever. It was because the VPN uh, session dropped. So we'll wait for this interpreter session open again. So now that I know the location already, I'm just going to do cat root flag.txt and then boom, there you go. So there's the answer for you guys. So that's how you do it. Um, so yeah, pretty, pretty easy. Um, you know, only two flags to set the local host and the remote host. Once you get to the interpreter shell, search for the file and then uh, use cat to read the contents of the file. So I hope you guys found this video really helpful. If you did, uh, please subscribe. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. All right, guys, we will talk to you later.